how to change text on a Shopify checkout page. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can customize and change the text within your checkout page. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Shopify.com. Then you need to access the sales channels. Uh, before that, make sure that you have selected the plan of your Shopify store so that it will not be uh, password protected and it will be accessible and also add your payment methods. So here we have the left side menu. We are going to select the online store and there the sales channels. Click on it right there. Then we are going to take a look to the checkout. So we are going to select the theme that we want. Uh, to work with. For example, I'm going to uh, modify the font theme. So I'm going to open the link in another tab because we need to get some reference from there. And now we are going to check uh, or see the checkout page. How we can access the checkout page? Simple. Here we have two methods. Either you go ahead to the theme settings and see right there at the checkout page. Or you can go ahead and click on the home page right there. Then, and you can see from there, here a drop down menu, we have checkout and customer store account. So we are going to see here directly the checkout page. Here we have uh, something or some things that we can modify and things that we cannot. So you can add a logo to the checkout page. This is just an example. This is, uh, you can add an example or add an image to the checkout page, for example, like that. You can go ahead and click on done. You are going to add the logo of yours to the checkout page. You are going to see here uh, uh, the checkout header, the logo alignment and background, etc. The color and typography right there. You can go ahead and set the typography. For example, we are going to use this uh, Agmana or ASAP or whatever, Twitter, for example. For the body also, you can go ahead and change the, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, right there, the font of them. So we are going to set these. Uh, for the checkout layout also, we can go ahead and choose one page checkout or three page checkout. You can go ahead and set a three page checkout, which is right there. Um, not very, very practical. I highly recommend you to use only one page. So you can check the use address auto completion if the client is not sure about the address or hesitant. So now we have right there the checkout. Let's say that I want to change the shipping method or their text. I want a free shipping. Uh, your total should be at least 100. For example, here we have it and the payment. How we can do that? We are going back to the Shopify theme. Then we are going to select the theme, click on the three dots, make sure that you are going to use the same theme that we have opened right there. Click on the three dots. Then we are going to click on edit default theme content. Click on it. Then we are going to see right there the theme content. We have uh, the header of uh, each very component or every component on the website. We can locate right there the checkout. So we are going to click on the three dots. Click on checkout and system. Now, as you can see, we have the checkout and system. So right there, we are going to search for the specific um, text that we want to modify or add or remove. So in our case, we are going to search for shipping. You can go ahead and um, search manually from these, or you can go ahead right there and uh, click on control or hold control F. Then you are going to type the element that we want. For example, here we have the shipping method. I'm going to set the shipping method. So we are going to see here all the elements that has or contain the shipping method. So right there, we, as you can see here, we cannot see the shipping method that we want because we have a lot of text right there. 
so we are going to continue and see it by ourselves so we are going to see here the uh, most long one as you can see here we have something right there you can go ahead and see um, um, the checkout or the text that you have uh, provided so it is a long right here parkour to make but it is worth it to use because here nothing is going to be uh, set as you want you are going to search for it manually and then you are going to set it for example shipping we're going to search for shipping only shipping shipping here we have shipping so i have uh, found a method to set up things easily and make it easily for example here we have a search bar instead of uh, typing control f i have set shipping on the search bar right there and then you are going to see here the different compartment we have checkout and system we have checkout uh, contact checkout delivery options and etc so we are going to drop down a little bit here we have the checkout shipping as you can see so we are going to drop down a little bit and boom we have the shipping method title and here we have it this is the shipping method title we have want a free shipping your total should be at least 100 so here we have it shipping method want a free shipping your total should be at least 100 so i'm going to delete all of that so we are going to set or say something else shipping method uh if you are or for example if you are if you are or like that eligible you can get a free shipping i'm going to close the parenthesis click on save boom now we are going to uh, reload this specific page we're going to reload it and see the result it should be a uh, real time or a live result so here we have it shipping method if you are eligible you can get a free shipping so let's go ahead right there and change uh, something else we have delivery so we are going to see here the delivery we're going to type delivery then we are going to see the checkout and make sure to see the titles right there here we have checkout general choose a delivery method delivery now we are going to see here the delivery title where we need to see something like delivery like that so we are going to see here delivery 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 so no shipping available here we have some errors these are the errors or of the um uh, all the suggestions that you can uh, set or see right there and here we have it check out shipping we are on the shipping area here we have delivery delivery i'm going to type not that but delivery and we are going to set a parenthesis of let's say um address 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 zip code and three points we are going to set that we are going to click on save and see if it is changed so we are going to refresh the page right there and normally it will be loaded as the same thing because it is very fast loading and boom here we have it so that was all for today's video you can go ahead and modify whatever you want only you need to set up the uh, name or the tag of the uh, section that you want to modify then make sure that you are going to see it right there. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.